Welcome back, and uh, thank you so much for staying with us here on NTV at one. You're still with me, Sandra Twinovdio. Now, like we saw in the earlier report before we went in before the break, Uganda today is joining the rest of the world to mark World Contraception Day. Today's theme centers on re uh, reality and trends on teenage pregnancies and STDs among young people in Uganda. Now, according to the statistics in the Health Ministry, 19.4% of girls between the ages of 15 to 19 have had a life. Birth. 5.4% are pregnant with their first child, and 24.8% uh, of girls in the same age group have started childbearing out of 4,264 young women nationwide. Now, to help us appreciate this and also realize the importance of this day, we do have Faith Chateka, who is the head of communications at Mary Stops here in Uganda. A very good afternoon, and thank you so much for joining us today. Good afternoon, and thank you for hosting me. World Contraception Day. Mm. What exactly are we celebrating today? We are talking about contracep uh, contraceptions, mm. but what exactly happens on this day? Okay, so this is a day that is set by the Minister of Health to look back and review the progress that we have made towards use and access of contraceptives in Uganda. So this day, there's a lot of focus on the teenager because we have been seeing these stories coming up of the increasing number of teenage pregnancies. For example, uh, last year, uh, the Performance Monitoring Action Plan released a report that showed us that adolescents are now more active they have begun having sex at the age of 16 and they are starting to use contraceptives at the age of 23. So that is eight, there's an eight year gap from the first time they have uh, sexual intercourse to when they use a uh, contraceptive method. So that means that between that period they have two or three children and therefore they drop out of school. So this affects their potential to get good employment, to earn, and we are seeing that this widens the gender gap within our society. So this year there has been heavy focus on uh, Kalangala, the Sese Islands, and uh, this has been mainly because whereas the average teenage pregnancy rate is at 25, in Kalangala district it's at 50 percent. So which means we have a higher dropout rate of, 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 uh, of girls in that, in within that district. Uh, the celebrations were in Kalangala and we had a dialogue with young people. They shared with us why uh, there's an increase in teenage pregnancy and what uh, partners can do to address uh, this, this specific issue. Now yes. when you mentioned 16 to, to 23, mm. my question, mm. uh, my, my, my mind really runs to the part where I'm curious to know at mm. what age should the young active, sexually active mm. uh, adolescents have access to contraceptives? Is it safe mm. for them to get contraceptives at the age of say 16, mm. 17, 18, 19, 20 and so on? Okay, so Minister of Health has put in place a number of policies and frameworks that guide uh, a number of different stakeholders in terms of uh, what is the right information and also when to give it. For example, we have the adolescent health, health policy and the national sexual reproductive health policy guidelines. So these guide uh, implementers and partners in terms of how to introduce the issue to the young person. At a young age, our children, our young girls need to know about body changes. They need to appreciate what's happening in their body and why they are feeling uh, the way they are as they are growing up. You know, as, the, as they grow older, we talk about abstainers, we talk about sex, we need to be open with them and discuss the current realities. We have uh, a lot of adolescents within the rural areas these have dropped out of school, they are teenage mothers, they have two or three children, and for such young people, our approach has been mainly to educate them about the different family planning methods available, so that they are aware about the contraceptive options that they can use as young people. Usually the question the is when they start having using contraceptives at mm. a very tender age, say yeah. 16, like I earlier mentioned, mm. there is a general myth that mm. it does affect mm. their fertility. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Or mm -hmm. how can we go about it? Just okay. to help us understand okay. it. Okay. So all contraceptives, there are different methods of contraceptives that are available. There are short-term methods, 
uh, their long-term methods and then their permanent methods. Yeah. So usually when uh, a young person comes for counseling, we're able to take them through all the different methods and then we zero down on a method that works for them as a young person. So for example, if, um, if a woman comes for family planning to marry stops, we'll be able to assess how many children do you have. Do you want to stop? And perhaps she has seven children and wants to stop having children. And therefore, the recommendation would be more of a permanent method of family planning, as opposed to when a young person comes for family planning and they want to just limit or space the number of children they have and therefore can use uh, so contraceptive it is safe like a pill. For yes. the young ones to yes, have access is. to contraceptives. It is safe, yeah. All right. It is so safe and it's usually accompanied by age appropriate messages mm -hmm. and understanding the context in which this young person. Just briefly, do you think the, uh, giving them contraceptives would mm -hmm. help reduce the numbers of teenage pregnancies that we're currently seeing in the country at the moment? Yes, definitely. This is the this would be one of the key solutions to okay. reduce the high number of teenage pregnancies that we see and would also be able to reap other benefits for example would have them longer in school would have them uh, uh, more educated and therefore able to gain and earn and they also take care of their families as when they grow up all right thank yeah. you so much for joining us today on NTV at one you're still with me Sandra Twinovdi mm -hmm. let us now quickly look at a summary of news coming through from across the world